So we all know the story. Junior Toffa steps in one day notice uh, for his brother, Justin Toffa, because he was out with a knee injury. He fights Rogerio uh, de Lima, Marcos Rogerio de Lima. And then this is really the thing that we got to look up, man. So let's bring us on over to, to the Twitter sphere, to the X sphere. So de Lima, I mean, of course, man. Pesau right there, big boy. Look, you even see in the corner. Look at those leg kicks. Butcher them. Oh, chop them down. It doesn't look that bad, right? But you know that hurts, AJ. I've never experienced it. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I've never been kicked in my calf. When I was growing up, we would kick each other in the thighs because that's what was the modern mixed martial arts con conventional approach, right? I've never felt the calf kick. But when you got a 260-pound, 265-pound man putting it on your calf that way, yeah, you can only take so many of them. Question that we have here. Junior Taffa, AJ, he was actually supposed to be scheduled to fight again in March. I think that fight probably is going to be off the table now that you've kind of suffered this on one day's notice. This went into the second round of the fight. My question to you is, do you throw in the towel after the first round when your fighter's already getting mauled? You showed up, you did the heroic thing, one day notice. Was it worth taking the additional damage? I I would throw in the towel at the end of round one, Derek. When we saw Rogerio de Lima just absolutely crack the leg of um, of Justin Ta or Junior Toffa, excuse me, uh, he saw you saw him step back a little, kind of limp and bounce, and realize, hey, my left leg does not work. That's when the, the round one ends. And as a good coach, because you know you got a fight coming up, don't put your fighter in any more danger, man. It 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 is what it is. You came in, you did a one day short notice. Yeah, you got a paycheck, but you have another paycheck that we can get a bonus on coming up. Should be looking to the future, but I mean, I this is this is crazy, Derek. The only thing closest to an, a legitimate calf kick that I ever take is when you both throw in kicks and oh, yeah. you kind of catch each other's shin, and that hurts like a son of a gun. But if you look at the bruising that that in both of these leg kick finishes, this one and what was the other one? Um, I forget at the moment, but whenever you're catching those leg kicks with that bruising, you know, man, that's going deep into that muscle. You can't lift your leg. That's that's this is wild. This was this was nasty right here. And then again, you love the pride, the bravado, the ego, the machismo, right? But I mean, live to fight another day. You know what I mean? Uh, big win by Rogerio de Lima. And then I guess the last thing on here, AJ, I was just kind of thinking to myself, I was like, most conventional logical approach, right? It's like, all right, I want to take the easiest path to victory. I could take him down and just smash him, right? Because takedown defense isn't much, but I have to close the distance and that might be hard. Instead, he's a boxer. He's got big hands, big power. Let me just take out that, that lead tire. So now, if you can't move, you can't really sit down on your shots. I just thought that was a masterful performance. So shout out to Pasau. Um, all right, what do we got next?